there's a real split in U.S. literature between um, between commercial literature, novels like that Crichton writes, Stephen King, Tom Clancy, um, who are the who are the other big Grisham, the, the law guy, um, some of which some of which are really pretty good, and they make a great deal of money, and there's a whole lot of demand for them, and then there is still, and I I think it's probably like this in in well it's probably not quite. There's probably more demand for serious books in, in Europe, but, um, but here there's a small pocket of probably, um, I don't know, half a million, uh, eh, say, say a million readers, who, many of whom are from the upper classes and have good educations and have been taught the pleasures of hard work in reading uh, or, or music or art um, and like that. I mean, when when you when you're talking to me, you're talking to somebody who doesn't have very much power in in the, in the culture and who's not very important, except in a, in a fairly small. You know, I don't know what, what the the analog would be. It would be something like maybe contemporary classical music in the U.S., which there are people who enjoy it and listen to it, partly because of training and partly because they're disposed to be willing to do a certain amount more work reading it. But compared to popular music and you know, rock and roll and hip hop and stuff. Classical music is 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 nothing. I mean, economically or commercially, and or in terms of how many people have heard of it or how much how much an influence it has on the culture. And for me personally, I I don't know that it's really ever been all that different. I think probably people's, I think probably American education used to be a little bit better and a little bit more difficult, and children had no choice but to realize that there were certain things that were hard and involved a certain amount of drudgery that were actually very satisfying at the end of it. But for the most part, I think, um, I think in the U.S., people have been, who've been doing, quote, serious stuff, which is harder and stranger, have always played to a much smaller audience. Reading, reading requires sitting alone by yourself in a quiet room. And I have friends, intelligent friends, who don't like to read because they get, it's not just bored, there's an, uh, there's an almost dread that comes up, I think, um, here uh, about having to be alone and it having to be quiet. And you see that when you walk in, when you, you, when you walk into most public spaces in America, it isn't quiet anymore. They pipe music through. And the music's easy to make fun of because it's usually really horrible music, but it seems significant that we don't want things to be quiet ever anymore. And, and to me, I don't, I don't know that I could defend it, but that seems to me to have something to do with when, when you feel like your, the purpose of your life is to gratify yourself and get things for yourself and go all the time, there's this other part of you that, that, that's the same part that can kind of, is almost hungry for silence and quiet and thinking really hard about the same thing for maybe half an hour instead of 30 seconds that doesn't get fed at all. And it, um, it, it makes itself felt in, a, in the body in a kind of dread in here. And I, 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 don't know what, I don't know whether that makes a whole lot of sense, but I, but I think it's true that here in the U.S. every year the culture gets more and more hostile I, and I don't mean hostile, like angry. Just in di it becomes more and more difficult to ask people to read or to look at a piece of art for an hour, or to listen to listen to a piece of music that's complicated and that takes work to understand. Because well, there are a lot of reasons, but be um, particularly now in computer and internet culture, everything is so fast, and. Uh, and the faster things go, the more we feed that part of ourselves, but don't feed the part of ourselves that likes that likes quiet, that can live in quiet, you know, that can live without any kind of stimulation.